Yours, this is Tyr, and welcome back to the channel. This is the third episode so far of me testing all of my characters out on the new raid boss, Earl Williams, aka the Colossal Problem event. This is with Freya, my melee character, and so far I have already done Thor, my heavy gunner build, and Raina, my commando build. Be sure to watch those if you haven't already. But anyways, as I said, I'm going to be completing the new event, a Colossal Problem, aka killing Earl Williams, the new toughest endgame raid boss in Fallout 76. In this video I'll be fighting him for the first time successfully <laughs> on my melee build. In summary, these videos as a whole are just to see if my builds are able to solo Earl and basically to serve as a baseline for future fights on him so I can see where I can improve. Basically I will be by myself solo and using no chems or buffs and again I will not be using any bullshit magic weaponry to artificially boost my damage. Come on. We're over that. That's fucking bullshit. But yes, friendly reminder that this build is going to be linked in the description for you all to copy if you are interested, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so before we actually get into the fight, I feel like I just have to justify my reasons for <laughs> placing the nuke the way I place it. Some people get it, they understand, but there are a few people out there that have questions, and I'll explain quickly. So this is Monongah Mine. The entrance to it is roughly right here on the head of the spade. I've got my tent down here. You should all have like a tent on this side or maybe a camp or something over by this area so it's easy to fast travel to. Basically I just place it right here on the middle of this crosshair section next to the road and this will be a perfect little area to launch a nuke. We do this for a few reasons. Number one, it is uh, the best spot to uh, actually enter the mine without being irradiated too heavily which is good for a few reasons. Number one, sometimes the, the event just glitches and you cannot fast travel into it. As you can see right here, when it does uh, actually, when the nuke actually hits, I'll be able to fast travel into the, uh, the event and just go straight in there. Sometimes that doesn't work and you have to walk in manually. Number two, when you're exiting the mine, if you actually, you know, farm all of the Wendigos for their screws and you stay there to the very last second and forcibly get kicked out, you get kicked out to the entrance of the mine, which is again where I already said, at the tip of the head of the spade. And if that's engulfed in radiation, you're going to have a bad time unless you're in power armor. So that's it's pretty simple for some people, but obviously some people need it to have be explained for them. So yeah, that's my reasoning. Alright, and here we are. This is, I'm not going to lie, it's not my first time attempting to fight Earl on my melee character. I did have a two test runs that went absolutely horrendous because I didn't know how to fight him on my melee run, but then Captain Noob taught me. Yes, Captain Noob taught me something about melee. Who the fuck would have thought that day would have come? <laughs> anyway, link to his video will be down below. He shares some amazing tips to actually fight the Earl Williams on your melee character, and it's very useful. So a quick look at the build and armor and weapons and all that. I have gone to my old combat armor set so that I could put shadowed fucking pieces on. It's all unyielding strength and sadly I don't have an unyielding sneak strength piece but you know work with what you got. I've gone I've opted out of using my secret service because they can't be shattered and I need all the stealth I can get. Gonna be using my trusty greased lightning here, bloodied swing speed strength, power fist. Uh, this is what my statistics look like and effects before I'm going in. Uh, and this is the build. I have changed it fairly decently since my melee build video actually went up, the uh, Freya the Queen Killer one. I've just changed it over the course of the whole like almost a year that video has been up but you know, basically the same premise. We're going to be making use of a lot of uh, damage resistance and damage output perks. Going for pure, pure brawler uh, feel here. Also just quickly I uh, thought that I should mention this so no questions arise in the comments. Put asbestos lining on your chest piece, okay? It's fucking amazing. It negates entirely all damage from the falling embers, uh, little fucking damage over time fountains that come out of the roof. And yeah, my video on that will be linked in the top right and in the description below as well if you want to see it in depth explanation of it. But yeah, anyways, let's just wait until this bastard fucking spawns. Alrighty, a bit of time has passed and I've left these little cronies alive so that I can, uh, you know, gain some adrenaline off of it so I can actually deal more damage than I would normally running into it. It's a bit of a, a calculated, calculated attacks right there. 
I'll wait for this fucker last second. There we go. I'm going to jump on down. Okay. I'm kind of nervous. I know that I usually do pretty bad with this on melee so from my two previous attempts, but let's see. Hopefully this will do better now that I know roughly how to not fucking die. <laughs> This will be, if I do complete it, this will be my first time completing it on, uh, on camera for you guys. Uh, it always does that. And I'm in danger. Okay. Not a good start. Yep, he's calling his cronies, that's alright. And in danger straight away. Okay, that's not good. Oh, why am I always just straight up in danger? Couldn't tell ya. So I'm pretty confused as to why I'm being detected pretty often by him. I've got like pretty good fucking armor sneak rating. But anyway. Don't want him to stomp on me because that will lead to an insta death. Gonna try and avoid that and I don't have to worry about this fucking DOT fountain. Yep, knew that was coming, that's fine. Back into caution, hopefully, yep. Okay, yeah, let's try and get some power attacks in. Okay, nah, he spotted me somehow. Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> don't ask me why, don't know. I think the secret is what I need. Lock up to any full underneath the snake, is it? Because it's clearly off. There we go. We're going to get him to do that. Oh, yep. Run away. So glad I don't have to worry about the random damage over time fountains. They fucking suck. Alright, we got him to half health. That's good. Also, that's good. Let's move. Get away from him. 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 There's too many of these little fuckers just looking at me. Ah, oh, fuck off, come on. <laughs> cool! Go, <laughs> <Cool>, dude! <laughs> okay, we didn't really do that much damage to anyway. Let's get on down. So, for all the fuckers that say, we're going to do it. 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 We're going to do Some adrenaline. So this is way better than my first two attempts for sure. The tips worked, but I, it's just my stealth. I'm getting detected way too easily for an unknown reason. If I solve that, then I could probably I can tank this thing relatively easily, to be honest. I'm just straight into danger with him. Don't know, don't know why. Okay. Fucking brute forcing it. My, my stealth is good now. No, it's not. Okay, I'm just gonna fucking roly poly with you. I don't care. Okay, run. Same thing. <laughs> Oh, 
back the fuck up because we're pretty close to him dying and I would hate for that to get ruined. Oh, you bitch. This is good though, you guys get to see me struggle where I normally am not struggling. <laughs> Especially on this build. Oh. He's, in, he's smart, he's in front of the light, he knows. <laughs> One single punch in vats. Oh, come on. I surely can't activate you from here. Go through walls, mate. I fear that's the most painful thing to do. Let's be real. Right. Should be a good little scenario here. I'm just gonna fucking keep me. Yep. What is going on? It's fucking, he's out of fucking, he's a fit, mate. Oh, do not want you to stop on me. Yeah, that's good. That's fine, you can do that, that's good enough stuff. Get yeah, so close. Oh, don't, don't, don't you dare. Fuck you, little bitch. Run through this, get back. Oh, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> don't run into these tricks, no. Please. Go. Okay, he's charging. It's not good. It's not good. God, I'm gonna fucking die again. This is all due to myself stopping up to Captain Noob's power. Power level. I need a full set of undoing cell strength. Someone hit me up. I'll die or treat you like <laughs> Alright, he's just a little bit of health left, and I'm being very skittish because. I'm afraid that something's just gonna go wrong right at the last second. Because that's usually how this shit goes. You fuck off. Right, I'm I'm officially hidden. I'm in the hidden state. Should be able to get a few good ones. There we go, we did it boys. Fuck yes. Alrighty. Whew. That probably took way fucking longer than it needed to. I'm probably gonna speed up a lot of that footage. Just to save you guys the hassle probably condense it up to a 10 minute mark or something like that instead of what would it be like 15 20 minutes <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of these screws and shit if you want to know why i can survive being under this i've got the video linked in the description i'm pretty sure i mentioned that at the start and if you want to know how to fight earl properly on a melee character i'll link captain noob's video i tried to follow it but again like i said throughout this my stealth is not up to par <laughs> i've got shit stealth on this character Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll catch us. Holy fuck, ladies and gentlemen. That took way longer than I expected. It's clear that if you play as a melee build, you need to go absolutely all out on your stealth potential. Min-maxing it. <laughs> Basically, make sure you have all of your stealth perks equipped and have a full set of stealth melee orientated legendary armor. Without it, you'll most likely struggle more than I did just then. But this is good. This is my first successful attempt at beating Earl Williams on my melee build. Third time's the charm, I guess. So yeah, obviously I can improve from here. I know how to do it now. I know what I need to work on and such. So yeah. Obviously, if I get my hands on better stealth armor and if I consumed all of my cams and buffs, then I would easily have been able to kill Earl in a couple of swings. Speaking of which, be on the lookout for that video because I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, again, a friendly reminder that I now have a Patreon and I'd like to thank my new pledges as well as thanking my channel members. You're all amazing. Your names are on screen right now. Thank you so much for going that extra mile with support on the channel. It's insanely appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and if you're new here, please do subscribe. We're getting so, so close to our 10,000 subscriber goal. I think we're, what, 900, 850 subscribers away? <laughs> awesome. I, I can't wait. Anyways. I've been Tia, and I'll catch us in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.